Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm going to finally test the hash rates, the RTX 3090. So I realize I'm a little late to the party on this one, but I was finally able to get a 3090. I've wanted one for a while, and I've really wanted an EVGA for the Win 3, which very happily I was able to pick up just recently. So get to do my hash rate video on it. This is just going to be Ethereum. It's going to be a quick one. What I'm going to do is show you what it runs stock. We'll take a look at the memory temperatures and the power poles, and then I'll show you what I found to be the best settings with a lot of core clock and memory overclock and what I'm able to get out of this specific GPU. So let's switch over to the computer here and you can see I have it running the stock right now mining Ethereum with T-Rex miner over on Ethermine. And if you just took this graphics card out of the box, you didn't want to do overclocking or anything, this is what you would expect. You would get 107 mega hash at around 400 watts, which is just a crazy amount of wattage. At the wall right now, we're pulling 500 watts on this system. And you can see the GPU temperatures are at 60. I have the fans. Looks like they're around 75% right now. And then the memory temperature is 102, 104 degrees. And we're going to get all of that down in just a few minutes here. But one thing that I wanted to take a look at, because how you power these GPUs is really important and so i have hardware info 64 up and the first thing we're going to take a look at is the pcie 12 volt in 12 volt input power which is the riser power so right now this thing running full tilt no overclocks which may cause it to pull power differently this is pulling 60 watts over that riser which means obviously if you're using sata which is only rated for 54 watts you're going to be in for a bad time on a 3090. I have this wired up, the whole thing with PCIe and my test bench here. But the other thing I wanted to take a look at is this specific card has three eight pin power plugs on the top of the GPU. And you can see one, two, and then three down here. Now I do have one PCIe strand split to power two of these. And honestly, I'm getting a little close with this thing running full tilt. That's what, 260 watts over a PCIe cable, which is really close to its limit, uh, especially considering the 80% rule. And then on the third one here, I'm pulling just uh, only 80 watts. So it's doing the majority of its power pull over the first two 8-pin connectors, and then on the third 8-pin connector, and then the remainder is on the riser. It's just really interesting to look at. And we'll continue to look at that as I reduce the wattage this GPU is pulling, get some overclocks in here, and we're just going to not waste any time and get right to that right now. So I'm going to open up the batch file here for T-Rex, and I found what I think is a pretty good core clock lock. So I'm going to add that in at the end of this miner. So we're going to do lock C clock at 1100 for this GPU. Go ahead and save that, close that out, and we're going to run that as administrator. And then the other thing that I've found, and, and I might push it a little bit more, but I found that getting this uh, memory overclock, 1200, gives me pretty good results. So that's where I'm going to stick with here. And we'll let this miner settle out, and then we'll check back and look at what performance I'm getting, what efficiency I'm getting, and the power that's being pulled from this GPU. All right, let's check back in here. So it's been mining for just a little bit. And what you can see is I'm hitting 122 mega hash at 286 watts. Where I have my memory overclocked to is 1200. And I have ran this stable before making this video for several days now. So I feel really good about that memory overclock. I may test pushing it a little further, but I am pretty stoked with those results on this GPU. Looking at power, what I found really interesting here is on the riser, it's still pulling a pretty good amount of power, 52 watts. So again, really be mindful of how you're powering your risers. PCIe is the best way to go. And you can see it's obviously drastically reduced its power pull on all of the eight pin power plugs, but not as much on the riser 
at the wall, the whole system is pulling exactly 350 watts right now. And you can see the memory temperatures are cooling down 98 degrees. It's, it's actually pretty warm where I am right now. Ambient temperature is above 80 Fahrenheit. So I'm not surprised at those VRAM temperatures. And I do have the fans pumping at 100% on this GPU right now. So let's take a look at profitability for this GPU. I have the numbers plugged into what to mine here. 10 cent electric rate and the average profitability for the last 24 hours. And this graphics card, as of making this video, is doing $9.10 a day in profit. The other thing we should take a look at is what the break even is on a RTX 3090. So this specific one I have is the 3090 for the Win 3 Ultra, uh, which retails for 1889. And we're going to take that 1889 and divide it by $9. So 209 day break even on this specific 3090, which honestly is not too bad considering everything right now. That is if you can get it at the retail price. So that's this quick video testing the RTX 3090, the EVGA for the Win 3 Ultra. Hope this was helpful for you. If you have this GPU or any 3090s, I'd love to hear what your settings are, what overclocks you're pulling, what performance and efficiency you're pulling, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe for more content on GPU mining, join my Discord if you'd like to chat. And as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.